So now I'm just going to have a quick look at the Enterprise App Repository in VMware Workspace ONE. Previously, if you wanted to add an application which you plan to deploy to Windows, you would come into Applications, and uh, here I have the option to, to either pull something through from the Microsoft Store, or I could just upload an application uh, from my disk, you know, or, or a network share, like an executable or an MSI. So if you did that, you'd just say Add Application File, and then oh, I'll just click on Upload, and I'm going to browse. I'll uh, just upload the NVIDIA profile app, just because it's two megs, so that'll be quick to upload. Obviously, if I picked a large application like Office or something that's a gig, it's going to take a while to go through. So I'm going to say um, that there's no app dependencies. And I'm not going to go through all this, but basically, as you can see, you then have uh, a series of, of fields to fill in, like version, uh, whether it's 32-bit, 64-bit, um, change log, which category you want to put it into. If it was an MSI um, application, you could use like a transform file so we can start to go through and have all those uh, command deployment options. So it's not huge amounts of work, but there's there's a there's an amount that you'd want to kind of pre-populate in there and, and build out ready for that application install. What the Enterprise App Catalog does is take that burden away from you somewhat. So if you go add and you select Enterprise App Catalog, it's now going to reach out to a server hosted that, that will list out various pre-baked applications in the various configs. So for example, let's just go with uh, Notepad++. So rather than me selecting the executable, it's going to come through and say where it's going to go. And then you can see it's showing you things like the install command, where previously, if I'd gone through the old mechanism, I would have typed that in manually. So as I say, it's not huge amounts of work, but it's just uh, you know a few minutes here and there for every application. If you're adding lots of applications to your app catalog, that can take a little while. So if I then save that, and that's it, it's done. So you can see now that that app is available to me. I have the ability to deploy it down to my users or, or give it to them uh, you know, as, as a self-service mechanism so they can come and request it. But as you can see, the, the point of the app catalog is just to sort of cut down the time that you typically would have spent uh, adding those applications manually and, and adding the appropriate configs and switches for silent install and those sort of things. So hopefully you found this of use. Thanks for your time.